Hi, this is Bob Crandall. It's been a long time, more than 14 years, since I've had an opportunity to talk with you collectively. In those years, I've talked with many of you individually, in your cockpits, in terminals across the system, on the street when we've happened to run into one another. In the course of those conversations, many of you have asked my opinion about what course Americans should choose. And since it appears that discussions on this whole matter of a merger are nearing a conclusion, I thought it would be appropriate to share my view of how you can help be certain that our favorite airline once again flies high, <clears throat> as we all want it to do. This has been a challenging year for everyone at American, and I'm happy that the restructuring is drawing to a close. I think it's been a successful process, and I think the new American is positioned to grow and prosper. And that's a credit to everyone at the company. Now, as you know, American's leadership and American's board and the UCC, one of whose members is the APA, are jointly evaluating whether a merger between U.S. Airways and American could make the new American even stronger. As I understand the current state of affairs, uh, the APA has stated that it prefers a merger. Now, I think a merger, which would create a larger carrier, which could serve more destinations with more frequency, probably makes sense. Putting American and U.S. together will once again make American the world's largest airline, and it will close off some of the areas of advantage and opportunity that are now available to Delta and United. So on balance, I would prefer a merger, or favor a merger, subject to a big if, and that is that there be a signed, sealed, and delivered seniority integration agreement among all the pilots at U.S. and at American before a merger occurs. Unless such an agreement is in place, however, I do not think a merger makes sense. Here's why I think a seniority integration agreement is essential. Any airline merger is very complicated. IT systems must be amended, augmented, and merged. Business processes of all kinds must be harmonized. Gate and terminal locations must be changed all across the system. Aircraft cockpits and cabins must be brought into conformity. Tens of thousands of people must be trained. Customer-facing systems must be harmonized, and on and on. To make it work, everyone on the property, management, pilots, fleet service, mechanics, flight attendants, and everyone else have simply got to work together to make the consolidation as smooth as possible and to assure customers <clears throat> that they will have industry-leading service. Without a seniority agreement, that won't happen. And without cooperation, the merger would almost certainly fall far short of expectations and might even cause such serious problems that the company could fail again. That is especially true, I think, in the case of American and U.S., since these two systems will not come together in quite the same way as Delta Northwest <coughs> or United Continental, which were substantially more end-to-end -end than American U.S. To take advantage of the revenue and cost synergies in the American-U.S. combination, both networks will be materially changed. That means, of course, that some pilots will be required to move, that some bases may close, and that new bases may open. It also means that some AA pilots will end up flying smaller aircraft on less desirable routings than is the case today, or would be the case if American continued as an independent carrier in which case Americans' pilots would be the sole beneficiaries of Americans' very large <clears throat> and very exciting order book for new airplanes. 
Now, of course, some disruption is inevitable in every merger. But I think if every, uh, every individual understands all the personal implications of a combination before that combination occurs, and if a majority of American pilots vote to accept the view that the long-term upside outweighs the potential personal downside, then it seems reasonable that management can proceed with the expectation of getting the active cooperation it will need. Without an affirmative vote approving a seniority integration plan, I am very concerned that bitterness and anger will undermine the spirit of cooperation that I think is absolutely essential for success. That is particularly true, I think, given the acrimonious and long unresolved pilot integration situation at U.S. Airways. So I think that each of you should study the implications of a merger carefully and consider whether you want to turn the important question of seniority integration over to an arbitrator rather than settling it yourselves before agreeing to a merger. If I were you, I'd choose to decide for myself. And because I think that's the best bet for a successful and prosperous American, whether independent or merged, I hope that's what you'll do. I'm making this on December the 22nd, just six days after the end of Hanukkah, and only two and a half days before Christmas. So let me end by expressing the hope that you either have had or will have a very pleasant holiday. And add the wish that all of you and all of your colleagues in every department at American will enjoy a very happy and successful 2013. Thanks very much for listening. I'll look forward to seeing you uh, the next time I'm on the road. We'll have a chance to talk about this and other issues, hopefully in the context of a new and very successful company. Thanks again.